published 2030 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of January 2019, updated 2120 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of January 2019 on Saturday. Naomi Osaka became the first Japanese player to win the Australian Open at just 21, but fans were outraged when Channel 9 sports reporter Tony Jones interviewed the tennis star following her historic victory, taking to social media in droves. Viewers slammed Tony for his cringeworthy and disrespectful chat with the sporting great. Scroll down for video, cringeworthy, disrespectful, demeaning, Australian Open fan slammed Tony Jones, left, for awkward post-victory interview with tennis champion Naomi Osaka, right, the interview got off to an awkward start when Tony quipped that he was not sure how you carried it all this way, after Naomi hauled the Daphne Akhurst Memorial Cup to the Channel 9 set. When Naomi was seemingly taken aback by the comment and smiled, Tony remarked there's the smile, while some fans deemed the comment to be condescending, others took issue with the way he broached her heritage, your grandparents back at Japan and you left Japan is three in, you still regard yourself as a Japanese player, he said, it took a time for your grandparents that you and your sisters wanted to play tennis and they finally came. On board, there's the smile, Tony made a comment on Naomi's facial expression and remarked that he was surprised she could carry the Daphne Akhurst Memorial Cup to the Channel 9 set as it just me or was that the most cringeworthy, awkward, pathetic and disrespectful post-match interview with a 2019 Women's Australian Open champion Naomi Osaka, one viewer fumed, Tony Jones take the day off tomorrow please. The interview was outrageous and his questions demeaning and insulting, a further tweet read, the interview was outrageous, tennis fans didn't hold back with their thoughts about the interview one perplexed viewer pointed out, so in a 5 minute interview, Tony Jones quizzed the world, no. 1. Two-time Grand Slam champion, Naomi Osaka, on, shopping, smiling, how she managed to carry the trophy, regarding herself as Japanese, as if Channel 9's coverage wasn't insulting enough, echoing a similar sentiment, another viewer rage, most awkward interview dumb question after dumb question. Yet another viewer added, Naomi Osaka did a good job of enduring the interview with Tony Jones. Mixed reactions, while many fans thought the interview was awkward, others took to social media to defend Tony and said criticism was unfair and over the top but it seems not all Channel 9 viewers were critical of Tony's interviewing skills, the criticism of Tony Jones was unfair. Osaka admitted she forgot to smile. And the incredible broadcast they've put where these past two weeks, and viewers at home have clearly loved it as well, last night's final is up in audience by more than 14% on last year's final and now holds the title of the most watched program of 2019, champion, on Saturday, Naomi Osaka became the first Japanese player to win the Australian Open at just 21.